rotten primary school, motherfucker. He's right here. And I got yeah. diarrhea. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Anyway, um, Devastator chose to go first, so um, we're gonna have like about a minute on Devastator. When you're ready, my. Hey, you see, you know when you rap in front of your boys, do you ever wonder why in the end your team is snoring? Because your rhymes are extremely boring. And I wouldn't be surprised if Exceed got his name from the X-Men. And I also wouldn't be surprised if he moved to New Zealand because no one in India wanted to be his best friend. Loser. For me, this is an average poor test. You can't rap it more fresh. You jerk off the anime because your favorite cartoon is Dragon Ball X. And this is what the bet will be. The only time X will see ecstasy is when he's paying a prostitute because he can't get sex for free. And this lost nutter wanted to be friends with Box Cutter and invite him over to play some video games on his Xbox and team up with them in a battle and call their team Xbox. But none of that happened because... But, yeah, and call their team Xbox. But none of that happened because Box Cutter told you to F off. How do you expect to be the best rapper when your favorite TV show is The X Factor? <laughs> hey, do you want to know how this lonely flea likes to get X-rated? when he's smoking pee and turns into an Indian meth rapist. His best advice for a guy that's extra size would be grab the extra sides and the pies that's left with fries. St starts to empathize till his mouth is mesmerized. Cause bitch, I hate you more the way you hate to exercise. If the price of pies grew an extra size, then maybe you would lose your thunder thighs. Your stomach would riot with picket signs. For him, that's when hunger strikes. You eat so much and play with kids. Give them banking tips in exchange for relationships. Kids call you, kids call you bagel tips. I'll hit you with bacon strips. This racist bitch bleeds potato chips. I'll blast mace and spray your face with cascades. This fat cunt uses bacon strips as band-aids. Thousands of plates. Ice creams with pounds full of flakes. The only girlfriend you've had, taking that cheeseburger out on a date. There's a beast in me that flows decently. The only one that runs in your family is obesity. This, this stupid blog would do a blog on dudes. This stupid blog would do a blog on dudes and cocks. While on his mind is chicken thighs and mince pies. Now that's some food for thought. Nice. That's some food for thought. And I know this is going to hurt his feelings. Cricket is the rudest sport. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. If you couldn't tell, that was the first 12 letters of the alphabet, you ugly maggot. <laughs> the rest is M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, C. It is a fucking faggot. <laughs> Why? Zero skill. You must be high on a Robert De Niro pill looking like a poor queer that's dumb. And why are you battling me? Don't you have a four square to run? <laughs> Can somebody please tell this dark, hopeless man he has barcodes to scan? <laughs> and he has to unload car loads of ham? For me, this is a mic check one, two. For him, it's a doot doot price check on food. <laughs> You should be stacking shelves instead of battling now. I'll go to KFC and get your grandmother to lick the coleslaw off my dick. Because you're more of a reject than that Indian guy from Hell High who had the coleslaw on his lip. See, that's the irony. You're the kind to be the type to work in refineries. Prove to me in one way how the Maori aren't the worst race in society. Speaking of which, you'd beat up your kids for a weekend of binge. Fight for land with the tribe, trade your wife for some knives and steal someone's chips. If you pull your tongue at me, bro, I'll dump in your throat. Your type of, your type of jobless and broke. Steal people's clothes, going bananas, stuck on the dole. You need a honey hard with no money in a crummy car. You can say what you want about Indians, but motherfucker, you believe in the tiny far. Yo, I'll throw a ham in your face while you eat all the plates. Half our birds are endangered, because you can't ate them away back in the day. Yo, I'll kickflip 
<laughs> your chief till a stripe wife is barely alive. Then drink expired milk while I piss in your marae. <laughs> you die from a lump of chicken in a bag of candy. So fuck battle rapping and protect your tapu land in the Taranaki. <laughs> Food and him? Two things that are tangent. I'll say fuck you but add a W in front of it just so this Maori understands it. <laughs> He might understand it, but him being in New Zealand just tells us that he doesn't know where his land is. <laughs> and that's right, I do believe in the Tani Far, but he believes in working at his mum's dairy so he can put petrol in his mummy's car. <laughs> yeah, you have a hilarious name, and when it comes to his race, he's really ashamed. If you don't believe me, just ask yourself why doesn't his forehead have a period stain? <laughs> Right. Yeah, so listen up, listen up, everybody. When you get home, tell your mum. Devastator had a battle with Dalsam's son. <laughs> yeah, and do you want to know why going to the hospital makes X gay? Because he fell in love with this dude called Raymond while he was getting an X ray. Now they're broken up and he's trying to get back together with his X ray. <laughs> Bro, you shouldn't even try to pass your point through. You shouldn't even try to pass your point through, because if you came to smoke drugs with the mind molesters, you are someone that we just wouldn't pass the joint to. Oh. oh. Yeah, you fucking dwarf. You're kidding me, you go. You're kidding yourself if you think this emo ho spits hot. He's so fucking short, he should be starring on that TV show, Pit Boss. And I know you're racist. <laughs> and I know you're racist. That's why you've always hated the white marshal. But I've always wanted to ask you something. Did you and Harold ever make it to White Castle? <laughs> Ready? Cool. Yeah. Ready? Sweet. I'll smash this fag with a vacuum stash. Your clothes look like they came out of a value pack. You're foul, stupid. Your mouth mucus has foul food prints of brown dude lips. You smell so bad. You smell so bad that your armpits have their own bowel movements. <laughs> My rhyme schemes are dope as hell. That's the way I rip it through. Winds is so into you because you're always dressed for interviews. <laughs> Bed sheets with food stains, blue plates with souffle. To brush his teeth, this faggot would deep fry his toothpaste. <laughs> for water, for water you drink diesel, which equals this weasel. What bet this tubby's blood type is KFC and cheesels? <laughs> I can imagine you eating a farm in some dungarees. He thought Mac Lethal was a burger and started getting hungry. <laughs> Yo, you have thunder thighs and cellulite with bunion eyes. You're so fucking ugly, faggot, you can make onions cry. <laughs> <laughs> you've had a cucka bird mixed with Chewbacca's fur. Any fight you've ever had, you'd probably do the hucker first. <laughs> this, this male ape needs no time for extras. There's four people in your crew, but you're literally one half of the mind molesters. <laughs> time. <laughs>